So one of the first things I wanted to talk about today was the new desk, desktop goose. What if the entitled goose game was your entitled com un entire computer? So I uh, I have already downloaded this uh, and unzipped it, but let's watch the uh, little the little trailer thing for uh, for Untitled Goose Game desktop version. He steals the mouse. He brings gifts, which are just memes. He writes notes. He makes video games crazy. Desktop Goose, download now. So, I've taken the liberty of... Uh, already clicking on the link. So, <clears throat> Desktop Goose. What is Desktop Goose, you might ask? Honk, honk, hear ye. I've created a goose for your desktop. He'll nab your mouse, track mud on your screen, and uh, will leave you messages, deliver you memes. Play video games with a desktop buddy who will attack you if you poke him. Fill out spreadsheets while, you sc while your screen fills up with instances of Goose Notepad. It's also... There's a Windows and Mac version you can download. Uh, he also notes he is not affiliated with House House or Panic. Uh, he's also added a new modding API. You can now add your own notes and texts and your own memes. And you can also config toggles. Unlimited memes. Put whatever memes you want in the assets folder. Added GIF support and configure the goose. Alter properties of the config goose file to adjust his aggression. Uh, and, of course, he's going to be updating the page. So, if you want to, you can download it now if you go to the link, which is samperson.itch.io slash desktop goose. Desktop dash goose. Hey, Douglas and Dragons, how you doing today? Hope you're doing well. I'm just getting over here being sick. But I'm good, nonetheless. <clears throat> and, oh, wow, it's Greedy Waffles. Yes, this is for mature audiences only. I can already I already know what he's about to say. Um so yeah, you can download for Windows or Mac. So I took the liberty of uh downloading it uh into my downloads folder. So here's what it looks like downloaded on your computer and opened up. So you have to use uh I, I use seven zip to unzip it. Uh you're going the uh, greedy waffle I know what you're gonna say and it's gonna be painless. That's what you're gonna say. So, <clears throat> in the assets folder, this is where you can add new images, like memes. I added a few myself, and I added JPEGs, and, and all the ones in here was already PNG, so... I don't I don't know. I, 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 I tried JPEGs, we'll see if it works. I didn't really do anything else. Um, I didn't want to mess with anything. So let's go ahead and, uh... And run it. Here, it he's already here! Oh, shit! <laughs> So there he is. He's just—he's walking on my screen right now. He's literally walking on my screen. He, I don't think he can do dual screen, so he shouldn't be able to go over to my Streamlab setup. But essentially, what he's gonna do is he's just gonna be a nuisance uh, while we uh, do the news. What do you guys think about that? The title of this podcast is gonna be "Untitled Goose uh, Goose Ruins Podcast," right? <laughs> K-pop, yay! Oh, he's already bringing over a meme for us. Wow, that's a great meme. It's Spider-Man cowering on top of a of a bus stop sign, and the goose is honking at him. That's that's a rad meme. Thank you, Untitled Goose. Now watch this. <laughs> he's mad that I closed it, and he's going for my mouse. Look at that. Oh, ooh, you can't get me over here on my other monitor, you stupid noob. Got him. <laughs> Anyways, um let's uh let's move on to um can't uh, can't see the duck in Randy's white spot. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll we'll change it around. <laughs> 